What's up guys? Justin here with the Rhino Essentials. So in today's video we're going to talk about how to use the flow along surface command in order to bend groups of objects along surfaces inside a Rhino. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so basically what this tool does is it takes different objects or collections of objects and it'll actually bend them to follow along with the surface. So right now what I've got is I've got a surface that I've currently added in here um, that kind of curves and then I've got a plane that I've added in here as well. Note that this is a plane, not a uh, rectangle. So this is actually acting as a surface inside a Rhino. But now what I wanna do is just real quick, I'm just going to add um, a couple rectangles. So I'm just going to add a rectangle right here, something like this. I'm going to extrude it. So we're gonna do an extrude curve and I'll just extrude that up to a value of maybe like two feet or something like that. So now I've got a singular object in here. And at the moment, I don't wanna just take one singular object in here. I wanna use the array function to make multiples. So I'm just gonna type in array um, and we can do five by five, that's fine. So I'm gonna do a five, a five and a one. Then it's gonna ask me for my spacing and I can just click in here in order to place that. And I'm gonna get these to align pretty closely with my actual surface in here, um, just like this. So I'm gonna take all of these and what I wanna do is I wanna flow them along this surface. And we can look at another example in a second as well. But right now, what you're gonna notice is if you were to come in here and you were to try to flow these along the surface, right? So we're gonna do a flow along surf. So that's flow along SRF, or you can also find it in the transform tools under the option right here for flow along surface. And so what we wanna do is we wanna select these objects. So I'm just gonna click and drag right here in order to pick up all of these boxes. Now it's gonna tell me to hit enter when done. So now I'm gonna hit the enter key on my keyboard. Now it's gonna ask me for a base surface and then a target surface. So the base surface is this flat surface that I drew um, that gives kind of a reference to where these are located. So if I click on this, notice how it's gonna select the surface, then it's gonna ask me for a target surface. So in this case, I'm gonna select this surface right here. Well, notice what it's gonna do is it's gonna take all of these cubes that are in here and it's going to bend them along the surface. So notice how there is a little bit of deformation going on to these curves. Not or these cubes, not a ton, because these aren't very big, but notice how it did do that. Now, one thing that might make your life easier, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna undo this, uh, we wanna redo this, is I'm gonna pick up all of these cubes and I'm going to group them first. So I'm just gonna type in the value for group right here. So now I can run this again, but notice how now I can just click on the group once and then use my base surface and then use my target surface right here just like this in order to do that. And notice how the cool thing about that is that's going to generate those as a group. So when you've got these originals grouped in here, then the other ones are going to be grouped as well. But now let's go ahead and move those out of the way and let's do something else. Let's generate some different kinds of shapes. So what I'm gonna do in this case is I'm going to draw a rectangle. And this time we're going to generate some strips along this surface. So something like this, and then we'll extrude it real quick. And in this case, let's use these rectangular strips. So I'm just going to array those. And I'm gonna make sure, whoops, I'm gonna make sure that I've grouped them, right? So I'm just gonna type in group. So we're good here. So now let's do the same thing that we did before, right? So we're gonna select flow along surface. We're gonna select the objects. We're gonna hit the enter key and I'm gonna click on the end here. And then I'm gonna click on the end here like this. Well, notice what that's gonna do is that's gonna take these strips and bend them along this surface right here. So notice how it's kind of like slicing them up and then placing them along the surface. So you can use this in order to create some really interesting shapes. Now, there are some other things that you need to be aware of with this tool. So one of them, for example, is notice how we have options in here for different kinds of creation when we do this. So we can set if this is going to create a copy of our object. So that just means that it's not gonna, it's gonna leave this in place. And so notice how there's an option in here for rigid. So I'm gonna run this again, but this time I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna hit the enter key. Well, notice how I have options in here for things like rigid. So if I set this as rigid right here, and then I set the base surface 
and then my target surface, notice how I'm gonna get a different result because we basically told this to keep these objects rigid. And so one other thing to be aware of is where you click on this is going to be important. So let's say that we had these series of boxes right here, and we wanted to place them on the surface. So you wanna to try to click near the same corner, right? So if I click on this object, right here, and then on my target surface, I click on this other corner. Notice how this is going to put these on the underside of my object. So it doesn't necessarily get the orientation of your objects right when you do this. So one thing that you do wanna be aware of is if you run this tool, right? So we have these selected, and then you set a, a base point near this corner right here. You wanna make sure you click on the same corner over here to make sure that those are gonna get placed on the same side. Because if you click on another corner or another location in here, it might not get the orientation of the objects right. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about Flow Along Surface. I will link to some other Rhino tool tutorials on this page. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.